ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Cora, I think is how it's pronounced. Um, I know jack doodly squat about this game other than what Steam told me, which is some kind of adventure journey similar to Journey on the PSN, on the PSN, on the PSN Network, uh, which was one of my favorite indie games that actually, honestly, well, the first time I played Journey brought me to tears. It was beautiful art in video game style. Um, and you know me, I'm an art nerd just deep down inside and on the surface. So anyway, I'm expecting something similar along those lines for this game. Uh, shout out to my buddy Joe, who as you guys know if you follow me, uh, he lets me uh, open his loot crate every month. And he was the one that gifted this to me. I guess they did a Kickstarter, he contributed to it when it came out. He got two free copies of the game, he sent one to me, yay! So without further ado, let's see what this is all about. Oh, that's so quaint. Well, again, it's great to finally have you settling into town, says the contractor. My guys should be finished up with some of the final touches by this evening. If you want, there's a festival going on in town today. Eww. You could check it out while in the house. Well, you could ch You could check it out while the house is being finished. Oh my god, I can't friggin' speak today. I bet that by the time the whole thing is over, the house will be all ready for you. Should also give you a chance to meet the new neighbors. Nice people, all of them. In fact, while the boys finish up, I think I'll go into town myself. Give me a call tomorrow morning if you see anything we missed. Or have any problems at all. Talk to you soon! Alright, bye. Orange contractor guy, so I'm the white guy? Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Why am I white? Huh? Huh? What do I... I don't know how to play. Just button, just button, just button, just button, just button, just button. Okay, I can't figure it out. Maybe I should options. Sorry, that might look weird, but I feel better about myself now. Almost finished. Nearly there. You won't be disappointed. Trungus, Durl, and I don't know what your freaking names are. Okay, I can't do anything there, so that's a creepy statue. There's something almost hypnotic about this statue. It's- oops, sorry, interrupted myself. It's like it wants to say something to me. How about- no. How about- <gasps> is it a bunny? Oh, it's so quaint. It's so- oh, this is a cute little town. Hey, dude. Welcome to the neighborhood. I'm the only one around here who knows how to fix that stupid trunk. But I'm learning! That's right, I'm teaching Junior here how to do his first oil change. Soon we'll have two mechanics in this old town. Actually, I want to be a figure skater when I grow up. Ha 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 ha. We don't say that around strangers, son. How cute. Can I skip ahead of dialogue? That's a nice house you've got up there on the hill. Shame you've built it on a hot spot for falling boulders. Young man and his family had a house there before you. Squash flat along with his 14 children by a rock. The size of a shopping mall. Just a fair warning, that's all. Thanks, dick. God, people in this town are already douchey. Welcome, neighbor. Glad to finally meet you. My wife's got me out here doing the laundry while the festival's going on in town. I used to always go listen to the local music, but now I'm stuck here with these stupid chores. Anyway, my wife knitted you this sweater as a housewarming gift. Ah, oh, I received an ugly sweater. She's quite the knitter. That thing will keep you warm wherever you go. Really warm, like hot and ecce. Sorry, the, the, I really, I know it goes with the whole aesthetic of the game, but I freaking hate pixel text like that. Uh, just give me time, New Roman, I get rid of You must be new to town, you're the one building the house on the hill there, aren't ya? Well, you should stop by for the bonfire. You should stop by for the bonfire after the festival, it'll be a blast. I'll be smoking my family, my famous meats tonight. Well, it's not actually meat, but boy, it sure does taste like it. Vegan? Is that what you are? I'm so excited for the bonfire tonight. My girlfriend's coming. I'm gonna kiss her. A lot of people make fun of her, though, because she's so big and can't talk too well. I try to explain it's because of her disease, but no one's listening to me. She was born with a thick coat of gray fur all over her body and dark leathery skin. I mean, I get why everybody thinks it's strange, but I cannot wait to lay that big wet smooch on once uh, cuddling around it. It's okay, I don't judge, weirdo. Oh, 
the exclamation point must mean I can do something, and whatever that is, an S must mean I can talk to things. Glad to see a new face in town. You seem like a genuinely friendly person. I can tell from your appearance alone. I'm very good at that. Take this kid, tray, for example. The way he's standing there almost deathly still, head turned up to the sky. It's clear he's deep in thought, possibly contemplating the nature of the universe. Maybe the beauty of that tree was so moving, we just had to stop and admire it. What a dreamer. Or maybe he's just thinking about that hot chick he saw at the mall and he's jerking off to her. Sorry, was that lewd? I threw my shoe up in the tree and now it's stuck. Ha! Yeah, you know, potato, tomato. Sorry, that was excessively lewd of me. I'm in a mood, I guess. Well, hey there, neighbor. Nice to see you're making it around for introductions. If you ever need a nice home, cook me in or I'm your belly. Just swing on by. I'll be hosting a little post-festival dinner on the patio tonight if you're around. I will warn you, though, the steak might be a little tough to chew. My husband caught the armadillo yesterday evening, and it clearly had been through a lot of trauma. Well, you just beat it enough, and I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, okay, I can sit. I sit. No. You. You go first. I'm not going until you do. Is that your choice? We're already flipped a coin! That wasn't a coin, that was a cashew nut. Doesn't matter, it had two sides! But both sides were the same. I can tell the difference! Well, maybe that's why you won. Yeah. Dick. Okay, I can't do anything over there. Alright, this is cute. Oh, can I... can I... go... down... There? Nope. No, I can't. Whatever, can I... I can't go up to the creepy statue. I guess I'll just keep going. It's, it's so cute, 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 simple, pixely game. Oh, there's more of you. Uh, that is drippy, drippy water. Nice to meet you, friend. My unspoken job around here is taking care of all plants and gardens in town. I suppose I just have a green thumb, always have. Truth is, I actually hate plants. I despise them. Their appearance simply angers me. This gift that I have has been an absolute curse my entire life. Every night I have nightmares that I'm tending to somebody's flowers or trimming a shrub. But then I realize that I'm not dreaming and that I'm actually doing these things in real life. Please help me. <laughs> No. Alright. Do I really need to talk to everybody in this town? I'm gonna assume not. I'm gonna be really lazy right now. So far, I'm just too ADD. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't care. Stop it. Oh! I received a bundle of incense. Thank you. It's blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah. Oh, birdies flew away. God damn it, there's a gnat in here. Love watching the birdies, they make me happy. About a year ago, I caught one and made it my pet. I named him Bongo and got every money. You fresh worm swarm. He was the nicest birdie I ever saw. One day he bit my finger, so I fed him to my dog. <gasps> You're an ass munch. Whatever, I'm gonna keep going. Holy crap, there's a lot of people. Oh, this must be the festival. Oh, it's like a three piece band on stage. Is it like ZZ Top and the second Back to the Future? Who remembers that? That was awesome. Okay. Quaint town, having a festival, big windmill. I like how those creepy statues are everywhere. Oh, those ponies! <gasps> oh, no, the cows. Moo! Nay! Nay! Hosanna! I said, they're cows and ponies. Are you new around here? All the produce you find in the market downtown is straight from this, but I mean, I also get our milk fresh from those two beautiful cows over in that barn there. Of course, you need a good sturdy cutting tool. Just do just about anything there. In fact, why don't you take this one? I've gotten a million in the shed. Oh, I got a machete. You never know when that thing will come in handy. I mean, just about two hours ago, I had to fend off a chicken coop from a bunch of snotty kids with it. Now there's one less meal I have to worry about for the pigs. Ha ha! Ha ha. Ha ha. Okay. Let's not talk to that guy. Or maybe we should befriend him. I wonder how old these are. They seem to be everywhere. Yeah, just a little bit. Oh, there's another one over there and a bridge. They all seem to be people praying. I wonder what they're praying to. Hosanna in Excelsis. I don't know. This looks like a very poorly constructed bridge. Hmm, looks like there's an indentation in the palm of the statue's hands seems to be shaped like a diamond or jewel of some kind. Oh? Huh? Welcome, newcomer. I sense something in you, something hidden from even your own eyes. It is something that very few process, and among them even few 
dis- possess, and among them even fewer discover. Sorry, I ruined that. The link between the world you know and a far distant realm exists within you. If you hadn't come here today, it may have lain dormant for the rest of your existence. Oh. Behold the power of the gods gifted to man in those distant years of the past, still pulsing through the veins of the human spirit. Oh. Embrace the link between our two realms and you will find us beyond the forgotten land. We will be waiting for you. Oh, damn. I'm black now. This game is politically correct. Oh, never mind. Back to being white. Interesting. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's very interesting. There's a gnat flying around my house that is driving me insane, and I'm gonna kill the shit out of it. And we're calm. Calm and loving again. go inside this guy's windmill? No. Okay, whatever. I guess I'll go back to the festival and hang out. I don't see much else is there to do other than a mysterious statue telling me that I'm born for greatness or something. I don't friggin' know. Where did I go? Oh. I'm just holding still. I wasn't paying attention. Welcome, welcome, all of you here today. Let's give a round of applause for all of our musical acts today. ZZ Top. I want to thank all of you for joining us in this year's Spirit Festival. 3,000 years ago, a group of nomads scoured these lands in search of fresh water when they stumbled upon the remains of an ancient temple. All right, I'm going to fast forward through this. Built deep into the mountainside, the voices of the gods long past still rung out through the temple's mighty halls. And so they still stand today, even older and more mysterious than ever before. A reminder of the rich past these valleys are steeped in. So today I, I, I'm, uh, I'm very sorry, but I have to end my presentation a little short. Please continue with the celebration. Oh, also, Mrs. Andrews has informed me that the last batch of cotton candy is almost gone, so grab some now before it's too late. What's up? Oh. I know you may not understand what had just happened to you, but I could sense something from the moment you walked into town, huh? I know you've been contacted by a strange voice. I also spoke to them many years ago. Oh. You've been feeling a little different ever since you spoke with them, haven't you? Yeah, all of 30 seconds ago. They spoke of a link between our world and theirs, did they not? Let me show you that link. Press the action button. This button. Oh. What the fuck? Do you see those beings floating above the town? Those are the spirits of the ancient civilization whose gods bestowed upon you the power to see into their world. The things of their world are never entirely clear to us, though what I have discovered through nearly a lifetime of peering through the divide is that their universe is made up of many fragments of the past. Seriously, Ariel, Times New Roman, something. Come on, guys. It's hard to decipher the meaning of these visions as they disconnect you through time and space. However, I have learned many things about our own world through the perspective of theirs. And now I believe it is your turn to discover these truths as well. Well then. There is a temple within these mountains, so as it has existed for all time, I think it would be wise to go explore it. And take this. I have a feeling you'll need it. Ah, I got the golden idol. You'll know when you have to use it. Huh. And camera Intermerced. Oh, this one? Is this the no? It's very simple. You just light the insides and stick it on the shrine. Even an idiot like you can do it. Okay. Well, thanks for that. Do I have an inventory? I don't. T S A D West Q. Nope. Okay. Whatever. We'll figure it out later. Let me go talk to that guy standing on a dripping rock. What the hell's going on over there? Oh, hi. <laughs> Did you just call me an asshole? How about you screw yourself? What's that about? No, 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 no. That creeps me out. That creeps me out. Let's not do that. 
My expertise lies in playing these tiny little wooden boxes with pieces of metal on it. No one ever told me what it's called, but this exact one has been passed down in my family for generations. Recently, I learned how to build one from scratch, so I made a shiny new one for myself! If you want this old junky one, I'd be happy to lend it to you now. A kalimba? Kalimba. Don't expect to become a master overnight. It's take extreme patience and natural ability to perfect this craft. However, if you would like to pick up all the pace on your learning, I charge $1,000 per 15-minute lesson. If you're interested. How about screw yourself? All right. What is this shit about? I don't know why I have a slight sense of dread. Where are you going? Please don't go up. Thank God. I thought you were coming to kill me or something. I feel the inclination to watch where this thing is going. What's going on? You're not stopping. Alright, you're gonna... Okay, that's very intriguing. Very interesting. Great to meet you, neighbor! Our family is the poorest in town by a long shot. So if you ever see my kids running around in the dirt in your house, don't mind them! We've convinced them that normal kids play that way so they don't want toys. <laughs> when they see the other children have fancy action figures and video games, we just tell them that those things are poisonous. We say that in a few years all those kids will be dead or will have gross deformities. I guess eventually we'll have to think of an excuse as to why those kids are all perfectly fine. Are you looking to adopt any children, by the way? <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Does that say Miss Dukas the Third? Please don't talk to me. I hate my husband in all my life. I also have an incredible migraine right now, so please go away. Okay. Why do you hate your hubby? Do you like our house? I see you've built quite a nice one yourself over there. Is yours completely green certified though? Because ours is. And did you get your windows specialized to absorb solar energy and convert it into cooking oil for your kitchen? Mm, we did. And did you get that new thing that just came out on the market? It takes rainwater from the soil and turns it into life force energy that emits from the air vents in your living room. You can't breathe in too much of it at once. And I've started getting 24 hour migraines since we installed it, but I'm sure you couldn't afford one anyway, so mm hmm mm hmm. Scottsdale, bitch. Alright, let's go sit on the bench again and see what the hell that one thing is all, up, all about. What is going on with this? This intrigues me. Is he like carrying something? What's that slightly darker gray? You're just, okay, you're just running around back and forth down, okay, whatever. That'll probably be a thing later. All right, color me intrigued. Um, boy. Should there be a place for me to observe things here? Oh, no, 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 okay. Uh, oh, maybe I'll sit on my bench down here and see what's up. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, here we go. I feel like Lenny from Of Mice and Men right now, and I get to feed the rabbits! Who clearly know that I'm gonna feed them. Oh man, that's really creepy. Well. Well then. While I tend the rabbits, uh... You guys tell me if you want to see more or not. I'm, I'm, I'm quite intrigued by this game. I don't know what to make of it. It kind of creeps me out, but I am intrigued. And I need to probably Google to see what I need to do from now because I'm pretty clueless and lost. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Please let me know if you want to see more. Uh, let me know if you have other suggestions for games you'd like me to play. Other than that, I will see you next time.